Jen, and this is an oyster omelet. This is like a mini squid. Okay. This happens to be my most hated place in Taiwan. Check it out. Okay guys, if you notice, we are right now in a big bustling night market here in Jianghua City, Taiwan. This place is flooded with people zooming in and out with scooters, but this right here happens to be the place that I hate the most. Now let me just explain myself real quick. I do not like seafood at all. I don't even like fish. I am from Utah in America, and there's no outlets to the sea. The seafood there isn't really that fresh. If you want the nice fresh seafood, it's expensive and it's scarce. So my whole life, I haven't had the opportunity to really try seafood or even get used to the taste. Therefore, I do not like it. So right here, if you just look, I hate this place because I don't like the smell of seafood. I don't like it at all. Big fish, small fish. Look at these eels. These things are huge and just super nasty. Okay guys, well, today's challenge, today's video is seafood here in Taiwan. I'm going to go to some of the most famous places, got some of those famous seafood dishes here. In just a second, we're going to head to Lugang, but first I want to take you guys to tour this morning market. We're going to zip there, have some amazing food, and later in the day have some sushi. I just want to try this seafood in Taiwan. I want to experience it. It's going to be fun because I don't even like seafood at all. Okay guys, I'm so ready for this adventure. Let's get rolling with the seafood challenge. So, are you pretty excited for this hero or what? <laughs> so, this is Hero. This is his third video that he's been in. He's a really good friend and he is Japanese. And Japanese people love seafood. So, Hero is tagging along with me today and he's going to be trying all the seafood with me. So, uh, I think we should get going. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay guys, we have finally made it here to Lugang, which is a beautiful old city here in Jianghua County. Now this place borders the sea, therefore the seafood here is so plentiful and there's lots of lots of great choices. So number one on our, our adventure today is this, jian, and this is an oyster omelet. These things are very popular in this area. She is dishing it up on a plate right now. We're also going to check out how it's done, and then we're going inside the restaurant to actually eat it. I'm really excited for this, so let's go check out the process, and we'll get going. Okay guys, it's cooked and ready. I'm headed inside and we can try it. Now the reason I am doing this challenge, the seafood challenge today, is because not too long ago, I reached 200,000 subscribers. So as part of that 200,000 subscriber, I told all of you that we would celebrate it through a challenge of me eating seafood. So this video is just for you guys. I wanna thank you all once again for subscribing, for supporting me, and just for coming on this big adventure in my life through Taiwan and other places with me. But uh, let's go inside and eat, guys. Okay guys, it is time on my plate right now. We have jian, and of course, as always, I brought my emergency mijian. I'm not sure how this is gonna be, but I brought a lot of it. If you look at this, this is full of a nice gravy on top. You've got the egg, and inside there's lots of oyster. But that, this is the oyster right here. It's so slimy.
uh, the seafood part I don't like too much, but it's actually really good. I like the flavor. It's the filling that I'm not used to yet. If I could just pick out the oyster from it, I would definitely eat like 10, five of these. We're going outside real quick. There's a lot more food. I'm going to choose one more item here. I think you guys will like to watch me eat this. Let's get going, guys. Next challenge. I've actually got three different kinds of seafoods in this cute little basket right here. So this place actually makes these really cool fried uh, seafood items. So right here, I'm going to have three different ones. We're going to start with this. This is like a mini squid. I have no clue what to think about it. Um, I don't even know where to start, but it is one heck of a thing. On all of them, they did add spicy. So oh, and time. Whoa. Okay. Like, I'm gonna drink some real quick. The taste is actually really good. I love the flavors upon it, but it's the fish itself was really hard to chew and it's slimy. It's a kind of texture that I can't really stand, but I will say it that was actually pretty good. This is a crab. Oh, hey, hey. Like, like, it's loaded with meat. It's a nice soft meat. It's not too much of a high shin way though. Yeah. The last one in here is a little squid. Um, just a little guy. I mean, he's probably swimming in the ocean, caught, put in here, deep fried. Hey. Jigga. Well. He fine, he fine. Okay, um, it was actually pretty good. The crab was unreal. I love this a lot. Uh, Hero, try yeah. this out. Oh, you eat the whole thing. Oh. Um, I've got one more set of seafood I'm gonna try. It's more of the fresh kind. We are going to have sushi. So we are going to Shihu, Changhua Shen Shihu Chen. And that's where my aunt owns a sushi restaurant down there. She's gonna provide lots of different kind of meats, different kind of options to provide a really fresh way to try the Taiwanese seafood. So uh, let's hop in the car and let's get going, guys. Okay, guys, it is sushi time. Now, I do know that sushi happens to be a Japanese dish, although it is mixed all here in the Taiwanese culture. So as I said before, I am right now in Shihu Jun, which is in Jianghua County, and, and I'm at my aunt's sushi restaurant, and she's gonna be providing lots of really nice Japanese and Taiwanese sushi. So let's head to the table and let's check it out. I've got a whole array of sushi. I've got about six different plates. I'm gonna be trying a few sushi in Asian areas and America, completely different. I love American sushi. When I go to America this summer, I will show you guys what it's like. But today we're gonna to be focusing more on this sushi here and how it is in Taiwan. Nagiri, over there. Jaga? Korene. Korene. Okay. Shaki. So, 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 so. You know what? It, it's gonna be really good. Oh. Mm. oh, this is really good. There's a big bite though. But so the thing that I don't like about seafood is that seafood taste, almost like the, uh, almost like this. Hai Tai, like a seaweed. Let's try the roll. No, yeah, I mean this is good. This is just straight up fish. I mean, there's no rice on it or anything and just like oh you can tell it's fresh it's nice soft it's cold the whole way through here we go now tree come on this is manu which is ill mm. yeah yeah we're really good i can't even really tell it's fish this is this is fantastic um jacob this is you man Huh? Huh? 
Yeah, about that. <laughs> While filming, my camera just kind of stopped. It was the first time it's ever happened. It didn't film the rest of the sushi part. Otherwise, the sushi was really good. I love sushi. So all of that was really good for me. Lots of other seafoods though. I'm not too big of a fan, but it was great having the whole experience, eating all the different seafoods, and letting you guys join me on a fun little adventure and challenge. So, oh. <laughs> No, no, no. What? Oh, no. Thank you so much for the support. I did this video because when I reach 200,000, I want to do something special for you. And that was, of course, to challenge the amazing Taiwanese seafood. I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Number one, what are your thoughts about Taiwanese seafood? Number two, what should my next challenge be? Put it in the comments down below. Anyways, guys, I've got lots more fun things going. I'm going to America. In Chiyue, uh, June, July. In July, I'm going to America. In July, number three, what do you want me to film when I go to America? And I think you're all the drill. Until next time, I'll see you in Taiwan. Gan yo Hey. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Thumbs up. So sweet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, this is good. Yeah, yeah.